the world's biggest battery company and Tesla's key battery supplier. They've just revealed the details of the new Shenzhen battery, which is very likely to go into the Tesla Model Y Juniper. This battery, it's actually won a few awards already. It's already in a couple of electric cars in China. It has up to 1,000 kilometers of range theoretically, but more, more importantly than that, it's lithium ion phosphate. It's cheap. It charges at up to 550 kilowatt speeds and has pretty surprisingly high energy density for a lithium ion phosphate battery. In fact, the energy density is higher than BYD's new Blade battery version 2.0, which was revealed last week. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. CATL and BYD, they are actually collaborating on um, solid state sodium ion batteries, but they are direct rivals when it comes to lithium ion phosphate batteries. In particular, they are rivals when it comes to supplying Tesla. Tesla uses the BYD Blade battery in the Model Y, which is manufactured in Germany. But in the Model Y manufactured in China, Tesla use CATL's lithium iron phosphate batteries. And in Tesla vehicles manufactured in America, they also use CATL's LFP cells. So people have been saying now for quite a while that Tesla is going to use the Shenzhen battery, the new LFP battery here in the new Model Y Juniper. If this is true, it would improve the new Tesla Model Y new Tesla Model Y's range by probably around about 20%, but at least 15%. That's a pretty big increase in range. It would also enable the Model Y to have faster charging speeds. The peak charging speed might not improve because of Tesla's architecture staying the same possibly, but the average charging speed, so the average time, what that would mean is, say you charge from 20 to 80%, you'd be able to maintain a peak charging speed for a longer period of time much, much longer. In fact, these batteries can charge from 10 to 80% in 10 minutes in other vehicles, meaning charging times for the new Tesla Model Y, they could be halved from 30 minutes to around 15 minutes. Anyhow, we already know they have the Blade battery version two, which is the latest higher energy density battery pack. And it's the same as BYD's last Blade battery, but it has better energy density and apparently can charge a little bit faster as well. I revealed a video about that last week. People found that really, really, um, it's kind of interesting because that'll be the new battery going into lots of different electric cars. But this, this battery will almost, will almost certainly be coming in new Tesla vehicles in the future. Could be by the end of this year, very likely the third or fourth quarter of the year. CATL's new battery could theoretically give an EV 620 miles of range. And CATL say that the energy density is 205 watts per kilogram, meaning it has a higher energy density by 15 watts per kilogram than BYD's Blade battery. Will that make it better? Well, I'm not sure, but we do know it can charge a fair bit faster than the BYD's Blade battery. So in that way, it is better. In terms of price, both of them are very, very affordable. They're the cheapest batteries you can get on the market. You're looking at about 55 to $60 per kilowatt hour. That is incredibly cheap, very hard to compete. That's probably one of the key reasons why LG Energy Solutions, another Tesla battery supplier, they just revealed their first quarter earnings this year. They're down nearly 30%. The Shenzhen battery improves an already very good cell design, which very rarely catches fire, even in incidents and crashes, very safe technology, and is improving range and fast charging. This is what CATL said during our initial tests. It took 10 minutes for the Shenzhen 4C super fast charging battery to be charged from 20 to 80%. Subsequently, we conducted more than 10 rounds of retesting and the results proved this charging speed can be achieved regularly. The other big advantage here with this battery is its performance in freezing temperatures below zero, these battery packs, they experience almost no battery degradation. I think it's around about a 90% improvement versus the previous versions. And that's one of the weak points of previous lithium ion batteries in the cold. They can have a fair bit of battery degradation. This one, apparently it does not. The cathode of the Shenzhen Plus is made with a granular gradation technology, which places every nanometer particle in the optimal position to achieve ultra high compact density. The proprietary 3D honeycomb shaped material is added to the anode, boosting the energy density while effectively controlling the volume expansion during charge 
and discharge cycles. Not only are these batteries faster charging than uh, rival batteries, not only do they have higher energy density um, based on LFP chemistries, um, not only do they perform better in the cold, they're also cheaper. If you're rivaling CATL, it's gonna be very hard to do so and gain and keep market share. Keep in mind that obviously Tesla is CATL's number one biggest, uh, biggest partner worldwide, biggest customer. So it is highly likely these batteries will be in the new Model Y and it's gonna make it a significantly better vehicle. But either, either way, no matter what happens, the industry continues to improve. Batteries continue to get better and the price continues to come down. I mean, the price for CATL's battery packs has come down by approximately 40% over the past 18 months. That is huge for the EV industry. Thank you for watching.